welcome to the first part of Minecraft. Uh, this is a Let's Play series. Um, and it's going to be myself with maybe a few guest appearances from other people. So this is where we have spawned. Um, it's quite a nice area, grass, um, a bit of a bit of um, a mining area over there, and some water. Oh. So. Basically, I'm recording this narration after I've already filmed it. It's just kind of a little montage of me like getting settled, getting a few bits and pieces together um, so that we can start on a good foot. Um, so I just collect a little bit of wood. Um, I go across here and I scout around and find some animals. So there is some sheep. Um, and we've got quite a big um, sort of savanna kind of area. And um, we've got our first little crafting table, our first um, couple of wooden tools. Um, so let's go start making dint in our little um, rock face, cliff face, whatever you want to call it. So this is me basically preparing uh, the start of what will be our house. Just digging into the cliff face. Something that's easier I find than uh, building one from scratch, especially in like sort of the area that it spawned me. So now we can make some stone tools. Um, and what I like to do because I'm boring is I like to use the wooden ones first um, here obviously I'm using the the stone one because obviously that one, the wooden ones broke but for like the axe and stuff for a while I'll use the wooden one just so that I don't have it hanging around in my chest <laughs> so let's build up the front again oops it's kind of hard when you don't have the uh, the hood on That's what I get for trying to make it look cool. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be like a little window ledge. So off we go to get a little bit of sand to then make a furnace to then uh, make some glass. And I believe we'll collect a little bit of that coal there as well. To obviously melt it down. Do you melt sand down? Is that the technical term? Probably isn't, but that's fine. I had to look at my at my thing there to find out where, what number my pickaxe was on. <laughs> Oops, stone sword. See, we're moving on up in the world. We've got some stone tools now. Make a door for our house. Need some more planks. Okay, so let's go get some more planks. One axe, there we go. Okay, so we've got a torch. And that's more planks to now make a door. I notice now that you get three doors rather than just one. Uh, which is pretty cool. What do they go? Yay! Okay, so now we're on the scout around for some animals, I think. I don't find any. I should have killed all them sheep while I had the chance, I feel. Oh, but I found some iron. No animals, but I found some iron, which is always good. It's always good to get iron and diamond and gold and things as soon as possible. Um, for some reason, when I was recording this, I noticed that uh, in editing that the the game audio is out of sync slightly. Um, I'm not 100% sure why, um, but I will look into that and make sure that none of the other games are like that. Okay, so I'm making the chest because we've got quite a few items now. 
so we need to be able to store some of them. Just work them all in anywhere for now. Okay, so we've got some glass and that's about iron that I'm putting in there. And put my map in there for safekeeping. And let's go for a little bit of a nighttime mission around. So, skeleton. It's also confusing not having the hood up because you can't see how much damage you're taking and how many hearts you have left. Um, which is pretty scary, if I'm honest. I don't think it would be a way that I would like to play normally. Oh, so I popped home. For whatever reason. Apparently. And there's a coup. See, so why is there more animals in the night time than there was in the morning? I don't find that very fair at all. Okay. And a zombie villager. I know that there's a way that you can, um, you make like a potion or something and you can turn them back and that's an achievement. But I've never done that yet. Um, and I don't want to cheat and Google it. I might look and see if it's in one of my, um, I've got like the Minecraft handbook things. Because I am that sad. Oop, I fell down. Stupid pig. I'm also not very well at the moment, so I'm sorry if I'm like sniffing and you can hear me being all phlegmy. Um, I'm not very well. Um, I'm in the last stages though, so hopefully it won't be for too much longer. Hello puppy! You like, looks at me and I've got the rat right flesh. There we go. Hello. No. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So I need some more wood. Okay, I've got the wood. And we've got a bed. Yay! Okay, so hello, this is my character. I believe it's Tuxedo Alex. Nothing special or anything like that. Just one of the pre the pre made ones that you just you just get it's not one of the tech like an added texture pack or anything. Um but it's nice that you can be a girl now rather than just being a boy because I used to be Tuxedo Steve, which I had no issue with. Um but it's like nice to, to be able to pick a character of my own gender. Uh even though the flame red hair doesn't really um isn't really me. Um so I decided here to get some more wood. I find the junk, even though this was quite hard to do and annoying because all you can see is me jumping up and down. Um, I find that the jungle wood trees are like one of the easiest trees to get like a lot of wood from in one go. Um, as you can still see, I'm using the wood gnats. Because basically you can stand on top of it and then just break your way down. And it's not just like one, like a one wide, it's four wide. So it's quite, quite easy to, oh look at that view. Panoramic view. And it's our little house down there on the left. Okay, so my axe broke. So that's rid of that wooden axe. And now we can make a nice brand new stone one. Or iron, because we have iron. Ooh. Ooh. A nice, nice little house. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Um, so I don't know how, how long I've edited this down to, but this only took me about half an hour to do. Um, maybe slightly longer. I'm sure it was only half an hour. And I'm quite impressed. I think I got quite a lot done. I think once you know what you're doing and you've played Minecraft a couple of times, it's not that hard. Um, but I do I do think um, survival mode is a bit of a challenge sometimes. I have, have got it on normal, I think. Um, I don't think I've ever tried hard because sometimes I struggle with easy. <laughs> Just because I never really um, watch my back 
<laughs> or anything like that. So I'll probably die quite a bit. But that's fine. That's cool. <laughs> right, so we're collecting a little bit more coal um, because that's something that we're kind of lagging. Um, I always forget about making charcoal. Um, I know how to. It's not one of the great secrets of Minecraft or anything, but I always forget to and I always just end up trying to find coal. And then giving up and making charcoal. <laughs> Okay, so we've expanded the house a little bit here. Expanded the window. You know, trying to make things look a little bit nice. Neaten things up a little bit. Digging up some dirt with some white wool, why not? Hashtag, I need a shovel. Okay, so my plan over here was... The reason I'm whacking all the weeds is because I want some wheat seeds. Um, and I'm starting to flatten this out a little bit because the idea is to make like a little farm. Um, I don't know if I, c I can't... I don't think I complete it yet, but I'll start flattening the ground out. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll move this little bit of dirt over there, and I'll move this little bit of dirt. Oh, and this little bit of dirt, and that one, and this one. Why do oh and oh and another one. Oh 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 <laughs> why do I think that's a good idea? <laughs> why didn't I get some over there? There's like four bits of dirt randomly here. Oh <laughs> reflection. <laughs> that's also bugging me that my furniture is now in the middle of the room. It's very feng shui, I suppose. My friend Sarah will be happy about feng shui. Okay, so here I am making a sign. All will become clear a little bit later on. And, oh, teaser. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of this part, part one. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you would like to. And the sign says uh, Jemmy Games, Dweelin Games and 3 Way Games. Uh, Jemmy and Dweelin are the people that I play WeCraft with. Uh, it's hosted by Dylan, uh, by Dweelin and Jemmy joins us on occasion. Uh, and 3 Way Games is a channel that we all do together. Um, there's not much content on that yet but there will be shortly so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to and don't forget to check out my friends thanks bye